Hello everyone, and thanks for joining us for a short presentation about using Wikipedia in higher education classrooms. First up, we'll hear from my colleague Jamie Mathieson, who will introduce the value of Wikipedia assignments. Then, we'll turn to Ryan McGrady, who has taught with Wikipedia in his own course, and will share some highlights of that experience. Finally, we'll turn again to Jamie, who will speak a bit more in depth about the kind of support WikiEd can provide. And at the end, we'll show some contact information for anyone who'd like to hear more. So here's Jamie. Hi, welcome to our webinar about teaching with Wikipedia. I'm Jamie Mathewson, the Educational Partnerships Manager at WikiEd. We're excited to give everyone a quick introduction to teaching with Wikipedia and the support that's available to you during your Wikipedia assignment. Now, to understand how to use Wikipedia as a te teaching tool, we need to start with a little bit of basic information about Wikipedia. For starters, it's the fifth biggest website, meaning it's the fifth most visited website in the world. English Wikipedia alone has 4.5 million articles, which, if you printed this out, would make up 2,000 volumes of a traditional encyclopedia. This means that Wikipedia is a huge online reference. It's a tertiary source that summarizes research and information about millions of topics for its readers. So who are these readers? It's 500 million unique people every month from around the world. Well, what do these numbers actually mean to us? When people are looking for information, they go to Wikipedia. So I want to show you another way of representing that. This chart uses data from Dr. James Heilman to show the number of page views for health-related content on various websites. As you can see, Wikipedia is the most accessed source for medical information. You can see Wikipedia, more people are visiting it every month than the NIH, than WebMD, and so on. So we know millions of people are getting information from Wikipedia, but where does this content come from? You know, we hear people asking us all the time, Do, are you paid to edit Wikipedia? Is that what your job is? Well, no, that's not our job. Wikipedia is edited by volunteers. All content comes from volunteer editors, whom we call Wikipedians. There are about 80,000 active editors from around the world, and none of them get paid to write or edit articles. Since they're volunteers, Wikipedians tend to write about what interests them most. But what this means for Wikipedia is that there are some content gaps in areas where the current group of volunteers is just less interested. And so that's where our program really comes in. WikiEd works with academics to fill those content gaps by supporting instructors who want to assign their students to edit Wikipedia as part of their coursework. Students who are learning about a topic, one that's underrepresented on Wikipedia, can contribute content that will potentially be seen by any of those 500 million monthly readers. We support courses in a lot of different disciplines, and the assignment itself can vary, so long as it's a positive contribution to Wikipedia and, of course, achieves the student learning objectives you're trying to achieve. So I do want to briefly review some of the types of assignments you might implement in your classroom, just to give you some examples. You might replace a traditional term paper with writing an article, which is the most common type of assignment that we, work, that we support. You may also add a Wikipedia article as a component to a larger research and analytical paper, because the, li the literature review is actually a really nice complement to a Wikipedia article. Some students add photos or videos, some add maps or other diagrams. A composition or linguistics course might copy edit articles or rewrite the lead section to better reflect the article's overall content. We even have language courses translating articles from one of the other 287 languages on Wikipedia. So hopefully that gives you some idea of the range of assignments. And now I'm going to hand it over to Ryan, who will talk about his own experience of assigning his students to write and illustrate Wikipedia. Thanks, Jamie. I'll be talking here today about my experiences teaching with Wikipedia in my communication and media studies classes at North Carolina State University, as well as my motivations for doing so. Then I'll show you a few examples of student work. So as Jamie mentioned, Wikipedia has grown to be one of the most popular websites in the world. It's a site students use for school-related purposes, to do homework or conduct research, but it's also something they use all the time in the rest of their lives. 
So I first used it as part of my own class as an object of study, because if they're going to use it, they should understand some of how it works, where the information comes from, what it's good for, what it's not good for, and so on. In other words, I covered it for the sake of media and information literacy. But because it's so pervasive, Wikipedia also provides a way to connect with the world outside of the classroom. So a couple years ago, I was given the opportunity to teach a media studies and rhetoric class all about Wikipedia. Students were tasked with writing a Wikipedia article about a subject relevant to their interest in their major. And the assignment provided a number of opportunities to develop different writing skills. Along the way, we talked about writing for a very large international general audience, the Wikipedia style of writing, which is similar to other encyclopedias, what the concept of an author means in the context of Wikipedia, and the many opportunities and constraints that the very unique medium provides. Writing a Wikipedia article is both deceptively simple and deceptively complex, if that makes sense. It's the encyclopedia anybody can edit, but it takes some work to contribute high-quality content. Students have to exercise critical thinking and research skills, for example, in assessing the quality and coverage of existing Wikipedia content, looking for opportunities or topic gaps. They're challenged to evaluate the quality of sources, to be able to identify reliable as well as unreliable sources, as well as to cite and summarize them effectively. Wikipedia is also just a really interesting and unique medium. Students working on Wikipedia learn how to use a wiki, an increasingly popular kind of software that Wikipedia is built upon. But more significantly to me anyway, they're given an opportunity to engage in a really valuable kind of collaboration quite unlike typical group work. I had my students work in groups and had them review each other's articles throughout the semester. But they also had to work with feedback provided by any other interested party on the internet, as well as changes other editors might want to make to their work, something which at least my students hadn't experienced before. To me, though, the best thing about a Wikipedia assignment is that students who contribute to Wikipedia feel like they're contributing something meaningful and important. And it is important. So I'd like to show you some examples of work that students have done. The first few were done in my class, uh, and then I'll show you some others that uh, some students have done more recently. So I'm going to show you first the top of each of these articles, and then on the following slide, I'll show you all of the articles so you can see all the work the students did. Of course, you're not going to be able to read it because it'll be really small, so we're going to include links, if you're curious, in the comments section uh, of this video. So here's the first one that my students did for the James B. Hunt Jr. Library. And as I mentioned, I had students work on a topic that is relevant to them in their major, and NC State has a strong agricultural school. So here is one for the driverless tractor and the polled dorset. And I also gave them an extra credit assignment that was optional where they could document the world around them in their neighborhood, at events they went to, and experiences they had, and match up photos with encyclopedia articles on Wikipedia. And so now these photos all appear in Wikipedia articles documenting visually these subjects. So the rest of these were not created by my students, but I wanted to give you an, an idea of some of the other work that students have done, and I find that these are really great examples. So here we have gender inequality in Mexico, climate resilience, struggle for existence, and maternity leave in the United States. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. To wrap up, here's a little bit of information about who we are at the Wiki Education Foundation. WikiEd is a nonprofit that cares about Wikipedia's quality and aims to improve and broaden content through student editors. We've worked with more than 600 courses, and our 12,000 students have edited 30,000 articles and have written 2,400 new ones. 
One of our main goals is to use our expertise to, de to develop best practices and guide instructors and students through this process. So I do want to show you a little bit of the support that we have available to you. This is a screenshot of one of our newer tools, the Assignment Design Wizard. This tool is very user-friendly and will walk you through a series of steps and prompts to make decisions about your course. Like, will your students evaluate an article before editing? Will you provide a list of article choices or will they make suggestions? Things like that. After you've completed the wizard, it will publish a syllabus and timeline to Wikipedia for you. We also have several training materials, including these brochures pictured. Some are for you and some are for your students to introduce them to things that they need to know to be successful while editing Wikipedia. And here's a screenshot of our online training, which introduces students to key concepts about Wikipedia, Wikipedia's community of volunteer editors, editing tips, things they need to know to get started. And here's an example of our dashboard, which gives you information about your students, the articles they've selected, the amount of content they've added, and whether or not they've completed their online training. And lastly, we have WikiEd staff. So pictured here are Adam and Ian, who are longtime Wikipedia editors. And one of them works with every class to help suggest article topics, or they can review drafts and provide feedback, or answer other questions that you or your students have about Wikipedia. Well, thank you everybody for joining us in our webinar. We really look forward to hearing from you and seeing the great impact that your students can have on Wikipedia. So here's our email address, where you can find us on Twitter, and of course our website. Thanks.